What's up everybody and welcome to another fun tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can leverage templates in Create Studio to create really, really nice looking animated style explainer videos, just like the one you're seeing right now. Even if you've never done an animation before, this tutorial should be simple enough for you to follow along and create one of these for yourself. And the good thing is that we're going to be doing all of this in just about 10 minutes. And if you want to download Create Studio, if you don't have the software, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. You can click on that to download the software. And if you use that link, you actually get the software at a discounted price. So do check that out whenever you're ready to download the software. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to be mentioning the names of all the winners from the giveaway that I mentioned in my previous video. So do stick around to find out who won those giveaways. Now let's get started with the tutorial. So we have Create Studio open here, and there are obviously several ways you can create these animations, but the easiest way to do it is using some of the pre-existing templates that they already have. And they have tons of these, and they add to this, I believe, monthly or so. So what I like to do is find the template that closely resembles what I'm trying to do, and then move on from there to edit it and customize it to my specific need. All right, let's make a digital agency explainer video for this example, so I can use this template right here for that. So I have our template open here and if I just click play, let's see what the template looks like. Hi, this is Tom. Tom runs an online store selling top fitness products, but he has a problem. His store just isn't making enough sales. Fortunately, he found a solution. As you can see, we have a fully completed animation which looks pretty good. So now let me walk you through how you can customize this to suit your need. The very first thing I want to talk about today is how to make basic changes to the template, like changing the text to fit your own need because obviously your text would not be the same text here. If you look right here at the bottom of the template, you would notice that it's grouped into something called scenes. So we have here scene one all the way to scene six. So these are just group of different assets that have been put together and renamed as scenes. To open a scene, all you have to do is simply just double click on it and that would open the scene. So we have our scene one here and if I scroll right here, uh, for example, let's say I don't want to use Tom, I want to use Bob. All I have to do is just double click on that and change the text to Bob. So now we're now saying that, hi, this is Bob. All right, so that was pretty easy to do. So the next thing I'm gonna teach you today is how to make changes to the actions on the characters in the scene. For example, let's say that our subject here, Bob does not own an online store, but uh, is a businessman. I'm just gonna double click and open on scene two here and scroll down to right here where we have the John character. So while I scroll down right here, if you click on the little icon right here to open it, you're going to see where it says actions. So I'm going to click on the action and the current action right here says on computer. So since it's a businessman, I'm going to go up to actions and try to see if I can find any other action that sort of suits a businessman. And uh, the one on the phone here seems good to me. A businessman should be on the phone talking about something. So let's go ahead and play that back. As you can see, it's changed the action on the character. And I can also go ahead and change the text to match the new action that we have on the character. All right, that was also pretty easy to do. Now, what if we wanted to take it to the next level and actually change up the scene a little bit, remove some characters and add some new characters. So let me scroll down here in the template to where we have uh, he's, he was fortunate to meet your company. So let's say we wanted to change one of these characters to remove them and add another character. I'll double click on scene four to open up the scene. All right. So if you notice something right here, uh, it only has the text layers exposed and I cannot see the layers that have the characters. That is because in some of these templates, you would notice that they hide up, um, layers that they think you don't you're not supposed to edit and it's very simple to unhide them and make them visible so it's just this little icon right here where it says hide mark tracks so if you click on that voila now all the tracks uh, or layers in this template are now open so i'm just going to go to where it's the, the one that says characters and i can see it's another group if i double click on that it opens up all our characters all right, for example, let's say I want to swap out the middle character here and switch it up with some other character. So I can see here the character is called Guy. All I just need to do is right click on it and click on delete. And to add a new character to the scenes, it's quite simple. Just come up right here to Studio. And under Studio, you have different assets that you can add to your scene. But we are interested in characters and their different style of characters, both 2D and 3D. But to match with the same theme of the template, I'm going to look at the 2D characters and I'll go under Supreme and let's say uh, the chef, let's add the chef into the scene. So you just drag and drop the character inside. And right here you see, we now have a third character in the scene. 
the next thing I want to do is go ahead and drag uh, the chef and just make sure he starts in the same spot as everybody else. Now, let's see what that looks like. He found a solution. So one thing you would notice was that when we played that back, the chef was sort of idle. He didn't have any actions and also he didn't slide in like the rest of the other two characters. So we're going to fix that and it's quite easy to do. The first thing we want to do is see what exactly what animations was used for the other two characters. And to do that, all you have to do is just come right here and open up any of those characters and look at the bottom. So I can see they use the slide left animation to slide them into the scene. So we're simply going to replicate the same for our chef. So if I click on our chef, and go under motion right here at the top. Uh, you can see we have different entrance animations and I'm just gonna check on the slide left animation to match the rest of the characters. Also, instead of making our chef be idle, let's give him some action to do so his suits uh, uh, matches with the rest of the characters. So I'm just gonna go under actions and switch it to something like maybe wave so that he ha we have him waving. So let's go ahead and play that and see what that looks like. Lee, he found a solution. So as you can see, that now matches properly with the rest of the scene. And that's how you can simply and quickly uh, edit and change characters in your template. All right, next let's talk about adding and removing to your scenes. So let's say you wanted to extend the length of the template or reduce the length. I'll show you how to do that. To delete a scene, it's very straightforward. All you have to do is right click on it and hit the delete button. And then you'd have to adjust, click and drag to adjust the rest to match the length. When it comes to extending the template, I always recommend that you find a scene that closely resembles what you're trying to do and just duplicate that one and edit it. For example, I'm going to come here where it says he just can't make any sales. I'm going to right click and duplicate it. So we now have two of these. Then I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard while I click on the rest of the scenes. And this allows me to select all of them. And then I can just drag this to just make sure that uh, it's aligned. So when I play this now, you see it goes right there. And then we have a second scene doing something similar. And then I can just go to the first one and open it up and change the text to whatever I want it to be. All right, this is looking pretty good and we're almost done. The final thing I'm gonna talk about is how do you edit the sound? So if you wanna change the background music or the voiceover, what do you do to do that? That is also quite simple to do. The background music is located right at the bottom of your timeline. And if you don't see, just make sure that the tracks are not hidden. If I wanted to change this music because I do not like it, I could just right click and delete it. Head over to media, click on media library, and then head over to audio. And then right here, I have a bunch of songs that I can download and I can just hit the import button right here to import it to my project. And then right here, it's right here on the project and I can just click on that and drag and drop it in to my project timeline. It by default to be on the top and all I just need to do is drag that and just put it at the bottom just to keep things more organized. And in the case of the voiceover, it's also quite easy to change. You simply again, go back to media, go to text to speech, and then you have the option here to type whatever it is you want it to say. And then you can choose the different voices. I'm going to choose the voice of Sam and then I'm going to click on generate. And let's hear what that sounds like. Hi, meet Bob. So you see that sounds pretty good. I could just import that. And that is added right here to my project and I can drag and drop it up on the scene to fit properly. And of course, uh, delete the original voice over that was there. So you do of course have to make this longer to fit whatever narrative you're trying to tell. All right, that's all I had for you today. Hopefully that was fun and easy to follow along. Just repeat the same steps I've showed you throughout the template and in no time, you're gonna have your explainer video ready to share with the wall. Once again, if you haven't done so already, hit that like button. If you really enjoy this, this really means a lot to me and helps me with growing this channel. And if you wanna see more tutorials like this and tutorials on other softwares, Subscribe to the channel with the button down below and don't forget to turn on the notification. That way YouTube actually notifies you whenever I release new content. And if you have any questions for me, do let me know down in the comment sections below. I'm always there like right after I release the videos and every now and then I go back to look at the comments and I reply to them as much as I can. Now I did promise to give you, uh, announce all the winners to the giveaway in my previous videos. So I was giving away a free license to create studio, the software, which we just did a tutorial for right now. I was giving tutorial to demo creator the screen recording software and I was giving free illustrations to a few people and the winners for all of this would be rolling up on the screen right now
Thank you for stopping by. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Keep learning.